Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a pretty good day. Um, I have been working on some clip art that I'm going to show you. You might enjoy the process. Um, it's a little finicky, but the more I practice with it, the better I get. And I think that I'm going to be uploading this clip art to my Creative Fabrica account. Not my fans page, but my Creative Fabrica account account where people can purchase them and then design with them because they're public domain birds that I'm cleaning up. Um, I'm also thinking about adding the folder to my ultimate lifetime collection. I won't be selling this set in my shop because they're clip art for designers and those don't do really well in my Shopify shop um, or Etsy really. Those are more like already made journals and digitals and things like that. So I'm thinking about adding it to my ultimate lifetime anyway, just so that y'all can use it because my audience on Creative Fabrica would be a little bit wider and a little bit different. Anyway, so here's what I'm um, doing on my, or not my laptop, my computer. I'm going to try to hold it still, but this is from a very old public domain bird book. And look at how pretty these birds are. And I'm thinking that they'll be beautiful to design with. So I'm up to this um, blue and black bird right here. And I'm going to download the original image to my computer. And then I'm using the BeFunky.com. Um, I pay for a premium membership to this. And um, I pay monthly on it. And I actually really like it. It's got a lot of cool features. So I'm gonna open that bird I found right here. And so this is what I've been doing. I've been cropping down all of, I'm trying to like do this through the camera screen or like look around the camera and it's like not easy. So a little bit slower than I usually do it. But I crop out all that extra stuff and then apply that. And then I hit auto enhance and apply that. Then I go to cut out and I click remove background. This isn't a tutorial. I'm just showing you what I've been working on. Now it's going to try to figure out the main image, but sometimes I have to go back in and clean it up because it it's a computer program. It gets confused. It doesn't know what it's doing. So um, I'm going to say okay, but then I've got to, to Sorry if I wiggle because I'm looking around. I got to look around um, and clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to remove this little branch because honestly it's just in the way but I can go in and keep or remove anything that might be like in between its um, beak there you probably can't see it but there's there's like yeah anyway so I pretty much just clean it up and then I save it and sometimes some birds are easier than others some don't need any cleaning some need um, me to go around the whole image. It just depends. I apply that and then I save it and then I um, name it and go to the next bird. So it's really been um, kind of relaxing and I'm hoping that this will be great for designers. So be on the lookout. Hopefully by the end of the week, I'll have this in Ultimate Lifetime Collection for those of you who have that subscription. If you don't have the subscription in nevermorecreation17.com, and you can purchase that. There's a ton of stuff in there, but I'm gonna add that as well. And then I'm gonna probably put it on my Creative Fabrica for a lot of those people there. They don't follow me here on YouTube. They're just kind of like a worldwide designer um, database. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Uh, so I'm gonna try to add it on there and see if maybe I can get a few downloads and a little bit of extra money from cleaning up this clip art. And you know how, much, how many times I use birds, a lot. So um, I have that, and then I am not making much progress on this big journal, you guys. I am not. Um, I've cut down the Honey Nut Cheerio box, and then I think I'm going to use this, these berry wallpapers to um, line it. They're kind of a country theme, and then I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I just haven't had time. Like, I really, really want to work on it, but be everything going on this week at home... And all of the extra little projects, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just can't sit down and get to it. Like, it's two after 2 o'clock right now, and in a half hour, I have to go get my boys from school. So I'm going to try to finish these birds, and I need to start some laundry. And 
I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get to it. My boys have Awanas tonight, and who knows? <laughs> some, some afternoons I feel like I can get like a ton of stuff done, and then some afternoons I'm just going from thing to thing to thing to thing, and I don't make a ton of progress. If you feel me, let me know. Anyway, so what we're adding to the shop today is supplies from Leah Wilkins. She's one of my wonderful, delicious suppliers. Oh, her stuff's gorgeous. So we have a box of stuff and take you into the back room. I'm going to show you and I'm going to get it all um, ready for you to purchase. Nevermorecreation17.com, free shipping to the United States, exact shipping worldwide. And I cannot wait for you to see what she sent. You're going to love it. Hey, okay, so here we are. We are going to be looking at what Leah has sent us. And like I said, these are all available in the shop and you can click the direct link to the shop in the description box below. So this is our first item. Maybe it's a journal, maybe. Let's see, ooh, pretty. It comes wrapped in this beautiful piece of fabric. Look at that, it's a ballerina kind of a see-through type spine. I always have trouble with these closers. Oh, maybe that'll just slide off. There we go. There's a wax seal. Look at how pretty. I'm trying to see if she told us anything about this. Don't see a paper on it. Oh, there we go, ballerina. So Leah's husband, Peter, helped her on this. It's awesome that they work together, and it's so sweet. It's a pretty open spine journal in subtle pastel shades, a bead slide closure, handmade paper pockets on tea dyed signatures with inking, embossing, texture, paste, wax seal, etc. The pen work was by Peter. Look at how pretty. So you have like crackle paste, stenciling. But the papers are all like hand dyed. Isn't that beautiful? It's a perfect one to actually write in. Isn't that gorgeous. So pretty. Some embossing on the edge of the pages. I love the light pink stenciling. Some bookmarks in here. This could be an excellent gift too. Someone who loves ballet or maybe is a ballerina. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's so pretty. Now I know there's a way to open these. I just, oh, there we go. I figured it out. Just assume that since I'm on the screen here, I'm gonna do it wrong. That's usually what happens. Isn't that pretty? And you can use that fabric for something else. All right, so she sent that. Looks like we have a little tin. She sent one of these last time. Not pretty. Oh, it's another tag tin. Vintage inspired tags too. So I think one was the one I already sold. So there's 15 tags in here. And of course the tin is wonderful for your craft room to either continue to store little pieces and tags like this or buttons, charms, beads die cuts, things like that. It is a beautiful box. Isn't that beautiful? There's that. Then we have a little bit of a bigger tin. Turn your face to the sun and the shadows fall behind you. This one moment will be a part of me forever. Oh, this one's, okay, so tags, 15 tags. So these tags are a little bit bigger. This is a perfect size for smaller tags or journal cards to store them. See how beautiful they are. They're nice and stiff, like chipboard type thickness. So there are 15 tags in this tin. And we have some journal bit kits, which we had some of these last time. And here's three more. I think there's only one left from last time, so be sure, be sure to check that out as well. I'm not going to take these out now. 
um, but I will take a picture of them later. So we, this one has cream lace, ribbon, and tissue paper. This one has cream lace, fabric pieces, napkin, photo folio, folio and a library pocket. And then this one has cream lace, ribbon, tea dyed paper, vintage envelope, envelopes and butterflies, butterfly buttons. So I'll take those out when I'm listing them. But of course, they're already in the shop by the time you're watching this. Then we have fabric rolls. Each is large enough for a full journal cover. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at how pretty. So you can cover a journal and have, or cover six journals and have scraps left over. Very pretty. Then we have some fabrics here. Three textured fabrics. So these are highly textured. And I'll take them out and photograph them and all of that. They don't have to be packaged like this for me to ship them. Two decorative panels. One vintage cross-stitched bird. Look at that see that and a quilted and stitched design here perfect for a journal cover very unique one of a kind then we have eight gorgeous fabric pieces perfect for your journals and your tuck spots and fabric flips and snippet rolls and all of that speaking of snippet rolls she did send us one absolutely beautiful of course look at these colors these are so perfect for using as pockets so gorgeous they will really add another level to your journals i love the blue Isn't that pretty and then the back is this gorgeous lace so one snippet roll today. And then the last item in the box is quilted panels in a pretty satin pouch. Well, first let's talk about this pouch. Look at that. Isn't that lovely to keep in your craft room to store things in? That's a big one. And you have some quilted panels here. These would be perfect for journal covers, pockets, text box. It looks like an unfinished quilt that somebody started. Isn't that pretty? So much you can do with that. Nice. It has the batting, so it's nice and soft. And then this pouch, definitely wonderful. You could make a journal to go in it or just store, like, papers, book pages, make it a, a pro project pack or something like that. So that's what we've added today from Leah. Absolutely gorgeous. Be sure to check back tomorrow. We're still hoping that Joanne's box comes in today so we can do a restock tomorrow and then also talk about our Forgotten Treasures. It's a collaboration um, between Lonnie, Joanne, and I. So I'll have all their channels linked tomorrow as well so you can visit their channels on YouTube and get more inspiration. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Come back tomorrow and I'll see all of you later.